I picked up, I uh, studied rock climbing when I was in college in France. I was lucky that we're in a uh, school next to Fontainebleau, which is south of Paris, and there's a wonderful outdoor uh, bouldering area. And uh, so I started to go with them, and it got the bug into me. And then when I moved into the US, um, it turns out that I was with a bunch of climbers as well, and so we started to come regularly, and it became my, uh, my main focus. I needed the procedure of ablation because I am going into atrial fibrillation. Uh, the trigger for me for atrial fibrillation is not quite clear, although stress seems to be one of them. A couple of months ago, I uh, woke up suddenly because my son was crying in his bed and I jumped out of bed and ran to see him. And when I went back to bed, I couldn't notice that my heart was not doing well. To me, atrial fibrillation feels like my heart is going too fast and is beating irregularly and way too hard. I feel like bouncing in my chest and I can actually look at my chest and see it move. So at the time we discussed with a surgeon and I was kind of the right category of people for whom the ablation would work. I mean I was young enough um, that I would recover from the procedure and I was healthy as well for the same reason. And the hope is to be able to avoid to take medicine when I get older. When young athletes go into atrial fibrillation, their heart just doesn't perform as well. And as a result, can't do the things that they want to do, such as long distance running or, in Guillaume's instance, climbing. So having atrial fibrillation was a true burden to his quality of life and the ability to do the things that he wants to do. So an ablation is the ability to use a spaghetti-sized wire called a catheter that delivers heat energy to specific targeted areas of the heart that eliminates electrical signals at that area in a safe, very precision directed fashion uh, and as a result can eliminate the signals that trigger atrial fibrillation. We chose to pursue ablation in Guillaume because the alternatives uh, for treating atrial fibrillation include taking drugs uh, all the time and although drugs in a lot of patients are a very attractive and appropriate alternative in younger patients, they tend to have significant side effects and can promote the decline in quality of life that we're trying to prevent in the first place. Washington Adventist consistently offers uh, a very personalized approach. Patients come back to me after they've recovered from their procedure saying that they've had uh, a wonderful experience. They name staff members' names. Uh, they feel like they were treated um, well, humanely, with compassion. I'm feeling pretty well. Uh, so what I'm doing is I go run or bike uh, two to three times a week. And then during weekends, I uh, try to come climbing, uh, which is really the sport I like. You can do it for a long time. It's, uh, it's a good sport in that respect.